Hi everyone, it's Becca. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be reviewing or testing out, I guess, the first impression uh, and a wear test on the Estee Lauder Double Wear Makeup To Go Liquid Compact. I got this with my Ipsy points um, and I have the color 1C1 Cool Bone. I am a cooler tone and I'm normally the lightest shade in a range, so hopefully this will work out for me. So it looks kind of like um, the cushion foundations come. It has a little color indicator. So you open this up and it has this little sponge, it has a nice mirror, um, and then it tells you to lift off um, this sticker and then I guess you press to pump like the product. So let me take this sticker off. Oh, and there's just a small circle where I assume the foundation comes out of. So let's press it, I'm pressing it. You can see, pressing it, oh, and there some product comes out. So. I am going to try half my face with a beauty blender and half with um, a brush. I'm not going to use the little puff because those never really work for me. So let's pick it up. Looks pretty liquidy. Um, looks like a decent color for me. Maybe a little yellow. We'll see. No, it actually looks pretty good. Okay. So just picking this up. So I think this will be really good on the go because you can just pump out however much you need. Um, so we, yeah, good on the go or travel. Um, and if you, if you could use a puff, you know, just in um, a pinch, I think that would be really cool. So there is the one side. So it seems to be decently um, dewy, I'd say, I think. I don't think that's the sponge. Um, or kind of just like natural looking. Um, but yeah, it has a little dew to it. And the color's not too bad. Um, maybe it's just a hair dark for me. But it's not too bad. Um, and it seems to be a medium coverage, I think, I would say. So with the brush, I'm just going to dab it on my face first. So I did pump out a little bit too much. Try to use that up. Now it does seem to have a little bit of a slip when putting it on, um, and I felt that on even on the sponge, it's just a little harder to blend out, but not bad by any means. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see what this looks like a little bit better. So here's what my face looks like, obviously without any concealer or any other makeup, but I think it looks really good. I think it looks really natural and reminds me of my Sephora Cushion Foundation, which is on sale right now um, in a couple of shades. They don't have all of the shades, but... Yeah, I think it looks uh, pretty good. So I will come back when I have all of my makeup on, uh, the rest of my makeup on, and then I'll continue checking in throughout the day. But I have um, pretty high hopes. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. And comparing side to side, I think I like the brush side better because this is a dewy foundation. And with the sponge, it just makes it a little more dewy. But it was slightly harder to blend out with the brush. I mean, not hard by any means, but um, I did notice that. So. But yeah, I think, I mean, they look pretty similar, but um, with the sponge just looks a little more dewy. So I think I would say I like the brush side better because I am i don't like too much of a dewy foundation, even though I am, I do have dry skin. I typically just like it to look natural. Hey everyone, so I'm back. I've put all my makeup on. Um, it is 12.07 right now. Um, sorry my highlight is very dark today. I'm wearing NARS's Hot Sands, um, and I didn't realize that it was such a dark color. So, and I applied it pretty heavily too. But anyway, here's my makeup. Um, so yeah, the foundation looks really nice. So yeah, it's probably been about, like, a half hour since I put on the, um, since I put it on initially. But yeah, I think everything looks really good right now. I am super, um, hopeful and excited to see this, so. Anyway, that's it for now. 
Hey everyone, so I'm back for a check-in on this foundation. So it is like a little shiny if you can see my forehead. It is raining right now, so it's definitely not hot by any means. So um, this would be one that I'd have to wear powder with, um, at least on my forehead, like on the, in the T-zone, which is not something I normally have to do. I never have to do that. I have very dry skin. So that's a little, uh, just a little uh, annoyance, I guess. But uh, everything else looks great. You can see my... Um, blush, highlight, and contour still, and uh, it hasn't moved or anything. Let's look under the glasses pads. Uh, it has come off just a little bit. Yeah, you can see on my nose, but nothing too bad. bad. That normally happens with me because I don't powder my face, but I don't really mind. Um, and I just wanted to read the claims of what it, this is supposed to do. So it says it's for all skin types, which I don't know if you're oily. Um, it says take it anywhere, which I agree. Liquid makeup in a spill-proof compact. Add the push of a button. Get custom coverage from a quick touch-up to a full face. Enriched with intense moisture complex for all-day hydration. Agreed. And comfort. Skin is smooth, luminous, flawless. Yep. All-day wear. Fragrance-free. Dermatologist tested. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree with all of that. So, Or most of that, at least. So, yeah, there is my quick check-in. It is... 4.44, so uh, about five hours since I had all my makeup on and like five and a half since uh, since I first put this on. So yeah, nothing uh, too much to report yet, which is a good thing. I'll probably check in one more time um, at the end of the day. So anyway, talk to you later. Hi everyone. So it is the end of the night or just about here. It is 8.30. I'm going to end the video for now. Um, my cousin and my aunt are coming um, in a little bit because we are going to the beach tomorrow. But anyway, so it's been about eight and a half, nine hours since I've had this on. Um, let me grab a mirror because I actually haven't looked. Sorry if you can see uh, my ring light in my glasses. I apologize about that. But it's really nice lighting, I'd say. So... My skin looks good. I think um, my concealer has worn off a bit around my nose and on my blemishes. Um, I'd say this foundation has worn just a teeny bit, um, but all my cheap product is still on just on my chin. It's disappeared a teeny, teeny bit. Um, I did go on a walk tonight. Um, yeah, and my forehead's a little shiny, but I wouldn't say it's like oily. It's just a pretty dewy foundation. Um, so keep that in mind, but I am super impressed with this foundation. I actually really like it. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I got it. I would have never thought to purchase it, number one. Um, for sure not. Wasn't even on my radar. Radar. Um, but then I saw an Ipsy and I was like, that's a good deal because I, I knew it was a full size, uh, foundation. And Estee Lauder's really expensive. Um, Let's see, how much product actually comes in here though? The size of the foundation is only 0.4 ounces, so about what you would get in a cushion foundation or a little less than half of a regular foundation. So, you know, it isn't the best deal and obviously Estee Lauder is expensive. I'll leave the price of this product down below. Hopefully it's not as expensive as their other foundations, but um, I really liked it. I think it's perfect for on the go for traveling, absolutely really perfect, especially because I would use a brush with it. I um, don't like traveling with sponges because they can tend to get moldy, at least my beauty blenders. Been there, done that, not about to do it again. Um, yeah, but I, I really like this. Um, you know, if you like natural medium covered foundations and you have dry skin, then I think you would really like this. So yeah. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to do more reviews and like um, these wear tests. So leave any requests you have down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.